All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Saints of the Most High, Yah. Pastor Ruth is coming to you from service of Yah. All right. Apologize. I was going to try to do this live. I keep forgetting. We've had storms here and the internet has been bad all freaking day. You know how it is sometimes in the country. And so, um, but you know what? I don't have to do it live. It wasn't going to be super long anyways. I just wanted the um, Saints participation. So what I'll probably do is do this and try to set it as a premiere so that I can come in and watch it with you guys and be in the, uh, what do you call it? The chat room with you. So, all right. But I want you to hear something. I'm going to read it, right? I'm going to read it. And I want you to listen to it closely. All right. Just listen. It says, this is overcoming self, overcoming self. It says, many of you do not know your religious, whatever it may be, your church does not ever expect for you to go outside of it to find the truth for yourself. Most of us would agree the Holy Bible is the best translation available to us today in the King James Version, right? It says, self-autonomy helps a person to exercise independent thinking the pursuit of happiness and the freedom to determine self predestination. Hallelujah. Most believers I meet today are simply not satisfied with their present spiritual condition. So many questions and so many unanswered questions. The most highest people are suffering today. Your religious leaders are responsible for holding you back. Your religious leaders are responsible for holding you back, mostly through the spirit of unbelief. Today's pastors and ministers depend upon a system that educates them to be subordinate. I'll read that part again. Most today's pastors and ministers depend upon a system that educates them to be subordinate. Instead of many of you getting the truth, you're getting the teachings of the doctrines of, uh, of the commandments of men and vain religious traditions, all of which deny the true transforming power of Jesus Christ. Now, there are some scriptures to back that up. Mark 7, 7 says, how be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of Yah, you hold the traditions of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. Now we're in verse 9 in Mark 7. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject. Full well ye reject. I should have said it that way. Full well ye reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own traditions. So he's justifying this by reading you Mark chapter 7 verse 9. This is how people operate today. Listen closely. What good is it to live life and not have the victory over sickness and disease? Why is our quality of life declining? Why are we, quote unquote, the church, suffering from the same physical diseases and problems the world suffers from. Why, why do many of your, many of you really truly do not have peace? Listen to me closely. Listen. Most pastors are building their kingdoms on this earth off the backs of your labors. Wake up. I'll read that last part again. Most pastors are building their kingdoms on this earth off of your backs and off of your labors. Wake up. The only way is for you to make a complete surrender to Yah rather than focusing on those who are blind to the truth or just don't care about promoting the whole truth. The real true believer 
who knows there is more to God, more to Yah, than this church thing every single week. Ministers realize that all truth is not sweet to ear. The scriptures speak of a bitter truth as well as a sweet truth. It's the bitter truth that cuts like a two-edged sword. Stop selling your soul so cheap. It is a known fact. It is easier to swallow a lie and believe it rather than the truth. Anytime you are struggling with believing something, you should exercise the art of questioning why is it so hard to receive this. I'm going to say that part again. Anytime you are struggling with believing something, you should exercise the art of questioning why is it so hard to receive this. I preach and talk about everything. I preach and I talk about everything. I preach and I talk about everything. It's about honoring the truth and not bury, uh, bury that truth if it relates to something you have not been taught. So honor the truth, it's saying, and don't bury it because it's relating to something that you just haven't been taught on. The Holy Spirit would never conceal the truth based upon internal fears or doubts. After we obtain salvation and strength through our master, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, we should fiercely commence to battle evil. We should fiercely after, let me read again, after we obtain salvation and strength through our master, Yahshua HaMashiach, our Lord, Jesus the Christ, once we get the salvation and the strength, we should fiercely commence to battling evil. As a people of the eternal Supreme Most High, we must exhibit tenacity and courage, always realizing you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Most people are living in prisons within themselves. Most People are living in prisons within themselves, going through life, never able to obtain the answer they are looking for. There is an old saying, you could be looking for your answers in the wrong places. Man's strongest strength exists in the word of Yah. Are you truly free? Are you truly free? Wake up. Deliverance is for you if you can come out of the prison of vain religion and come out from under ignorant ministers, pastors, and teachers. I would like to reiterate that the disciples of Yah will never intentionally duck scripture because they just do not have an understanding. Now, that was a good read. I would want for you guys to start commenting in the chat, or uh, the comment section. See, if we was live like I wanted to be, I would have y'all attention now and y'all could comment on what y'all thought about that. Then I would tell y'all, because <laughs> I know you would like it. I know you would like it. Because it was just some truth being spoken there. So that's some truth. Then I would come back and tell y'all that if you want to find this article, you can go to straightwaytruth.com, straightwaytruth.com. When that comes up, that straightway's old thing, when it comes up, you go to the left side, right? You will see a thing over there that says deliverance. Then when you get to deliverance, you'll see, click on that, you'll see, or you don't have to click, I think you just go over there, but if you click on it, you'll see a section called earrings. Click on earrings. Then you will see this article pop up under earrings, and it's called Overcoming Self. And it was written by Pastor Charles Dow on August 1st, 2010. See what? Now, see, I came in the spring of 2010. Because some of y'all see now why I was like, he ain't always been this way, y'all. There's something going on. 
this is written by I, I just printed it out y'all y'all can let me let me give a closer right there let me see if that works y'all can see it see credit for who wrote it pastor dial the king is coming he wrote that uh august 1st 2010 that's when it got posted he probably wrote a little bit before that but this is his writing i'm not taking credit for it did you hear all those truths about being an independent thinker that most churches know and understand that you're not going to go outside of them to try to find any level of truth but he was admonish you, admonishing you in this to be one of those free independent thinkers and he admitted that pastors that are trying to build kingdoms here for themselves are the ones that are blinded and ignorantly holding you back from the truth. If you want to read this article, I'm not going to read it twice. That There it is. It's called Overcoming Self. To get to it, you have to go to straightwaytruth.com. Their website will come up. If you go to the left side, Go to the part that says uh, deliverance. All right. Go to the part that says deliverance. Then you will see another section in there that says earrings. Click on earrings. When you click on that, you should be able to find this article on the left side. And you see it starts with many of you do not know your religion. This is the article. Shout out to special brother. He brought that to my attention. See, I knew Dow would teach these types of things. The problem is, as now I have receipts, y'all. The problem is, I have receipts showing that he never lived this way, though. I have receipts showing it. That he never lived like this. I did the one little short thing, letting y'all know um, about the land. I got even more information about the lawsuit against Stare that he lost for almost $800,000 how he misappropriated the funds and they literally sued him because he sent out a letter y'all asking the saints out there for money to pay for the radio broadcast but he used it for his legal fees because he was under indictment for raping two girls he used it for his legal fees and guess what else he used it for y'all this is what the court documents say so i ain't bearing false witness the court documents say he used it for legal fees and his in his trial against being accused of raping two girls. And he also used it to fund projects at his Tennessee community. <laughs> Tennessee community. Y'all do know the Tennessee community is straightway. So instead of putting that money towards the radio broadcast, he was paying straightway to help build their community. He was sending saints over there. Contrary to unpopular belief that one individual built that whole thing up. No, he got a lot of assistance from his mentor, his predatorial rapist mentor, R.G. Stair. He helped build straightway from the beginning. And again, I'm just keeping this real, y'all, 100. When I showed up around this time when this was put out, a little bit before, straightway had like 35 people living on the land. And they had one other community, y'all. One in South Carolina. Some of y'all go back and actually look at those pictures. They're up online somewhere. You can probably go to that same straightwaytruth.com and find them. But you'll see feast pictures where there's only 40, 50 people in the whole picture, y'all, coming together for a feast. Yep. You will see it where it was Georgia, straightway, and a little bit from South Carolina. <laughs> But you built this up by yourself, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Because it's just sad. Y'all built this up. It's all y'all's doing. No man gets any credit for what's going on in this world today if it's good. It all comes from above. But I thought this was a very good read. It is called Overcoming Self. And it was written by Pastor Charles Dow back in August 1st. 2010 so we're talking about a 24 year old uh, uh, uh a 14 year old document i'm sorry 14 year old document yep that's when i came to straightway this is the type of stuff he was talking but now i'm finding out he wasn't actually living it 
I would admonish you to slow down, listen to this again, especially when I read things over and over and over, two or three or four or five, six times. That's something very important that needs to get into your spirit because that's something that he's telling you, but he ain't doing. He literally said in his article, pastors are building kingdoms here. They're building kingdoms here off of your backs, off of your labors exactly what's going on right before you just can't see it